Brian Anderson. I hope that you are doing well. Today we're going to be discussing AOD peptide. And uh, AOD is also known as AOD 9604. So what is AOD? Well, AOD actually stands for anti-obesity drug. And so this initially was a peptide used exclusively for obesity, uh, but has also uh, since been used for things like osteoarthritis, uh, tendonitis, knee pain, uh, and as you guessed it, is still being used for uh, fat loss. So uh, we're using AOD for a number of benefits. Uh, as always, discuss any treatment with your healthcare provider before starting or stopping any treatment. Uh, the information here is not to be used as formal medical advice. AOD affects a couple of things. So it affects growth hormone release in the brain. So how much growth hormone your pituitary will release, it will affect that. And growth hormone, as you know, is the holy grail of anti-aging. So growth hormone affects sleep, affects skin, affects metabolism. But AOD also has some other properties. AOD affects lipolysis, or the breakdown of fat, and also the lipogenesis, how fat is formed. So it's very unique and has those properties. Um, so a very versatile peptide. As you may know, we discuss a lot of peptides on this channel. So if it's anything from BPC-157 for injuries, or if it's CJC-1295 and ipamorelin, more for growth hormone itself, uh, those are other synergistic peptides that are used uh, as a secretagogue. So basically a secretagogue is a peptide or, or a medication or a substance that allows for more release of a secretory release uh, from a gland. And so in this case, we're secreting more growth hormone from our pituitary. And uh, without necessarily all the side effects and things associated with traditional treatments such as growth hormone. So uh, anyway, I'm, signing, I'm gonna sign off for today. Just wanted to provide you with some quick information regarding AOD. Uh, please like and subscribe, comment below if you have a question. Signing off, Dr. Brian Anderson.